Hey guys, it's Nora. I'm back in Florida and I have another fun adventure planned for us today. I'm actually at a spot called Blue Heron Bridge, which is one of the top shore dives in the USA. You can see an array of fish, octopus, lobster, and all sorts of marine life. So I'm pretty excited to jump in the water and explore this place. If it looks promising, I'm also gonna grab my metal detector and try to find some lost treasure. So let's grab our gear, get into the water and explore the spot. Lena's little setup. I have my scuba tank here. There's so many scuba divers in the water, it's so funny. <laughs> feeling coming out of the water where you're so heavy and your legs just collapse. Oh my god, it's raining. That one cloud though. Well, thank god we're under a bridge. Thank god we're already in the water. Are you worried about getting wet? <laughs> <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
to Hoth so I don't put it down in the sand. And I'll come back for Lena. Before we continue with the adventure, I'd like to first stop and thank Babbel for sponsoring today's video. Babbel is the number one language learning app with over 10 million subscriptions worldwide. It makes language learning super convenient and you can choose the increments of time each day that you want to work on a language. I typically do about 15 to 20 minutes depending on how much free time I have, but you could actually learn a new language in just three weeks if you use the Babbel app for 10 to 15 minutes a day. I actually really wish I used Babbel before my trip to France last summer because it would have been really nice to communicate with the locals in their native tongue instead of relying on them to understand English. Let's uh, touch up our French skills here. Au revoir, that means goodbye. I know that one. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. The really cool thing about this, it helps with your pronunciations because you're listening, you're interacting, so you can know how to say it properly. Damn, 18 out of 18. I'm ready to go metal detecting in France again, and I'm gonna speak only French. You guys are gonna have to learn French. You're gonna have to download Babbel so you could understand me. <laughs> if you guys are interested in trying Babbel, you could click the link in the description box down below. You'll get 65% off Babbel and you could start to learn a new language today. Once again, thank you so much Babbel for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the adventure. So Lana, what'd you think of our dive location? I loved it so much. It was heaven on earth. It was so nice, the temperature was perfect, and the water temperature was so perfect, and it was so salty. Uh, I literally didn't have to pedal, I just floated. Too salty, yeah, you didn't really have to swim, you just float there. My lips got really chapped and my eyes were burning. <laughs> yeah, my lips always get dried out when I'm doing like the scuba. And you have to snorkel. like tease the... Uh, oh. Yeah, I definitely gagged a few times, but it was a beautiful spot. The water was crystal clear. I saw a bunch of fish, hermit crabs. I even saw a puffer fish, and I think I saw a stonefish. You guys are gonna have to let me know, but I believe what I saw was a stonefish, so I wasn't getting anywhere near or a it. stonefish. Dad jokes. I ended up metal detecting more than I thought I would. I didn't think I would metal detect at all at first, but it was like a pretty nice beach area. A lot of people were swimming, so I decided to bring the metal detector and I did find some cool things. Let's take a closer look. So I'll start with my trash finds. I found a bunch of bottle caps, pull tabs, a rusty screw. What do you think this fell off of, Lena? A boat. A boat. <laughs> it's not a good, it's not a good thing. A uh, rusty fishing hook, that's good to get out of the swimming area. I think this is one of the wheels for a lighter, you know, the one you... Oh yeah. Here I have some seashells, I really like this one. Lena gifted me this one. As a present. Thank no you. No strings attached. I appreciate it. This is a little cute one. Oh, I love those little ones. Yeah. I forgot what they're called. Let me know what this is called down in the comments. Don't Pretty mind the start. Don't mind the sirens. <laughs> We're in the they're rest. Not for us, <laughs> not this time. A couple of coins here. I have 25, 50, 75, 79 cents. And my best finds of the day, I found two earrings. This one is heavily encrusted, as you see. It looks like there was a pretty cool pattern to it when it was new but you can't see much out of it. The interesting part is the back is still on this. So this was either in someone's pocket or Lena was saying it could have been from a gauge deer and it slipped through the whole hole. Whole <laughs> hole. <laughs> through the whole hole. I tried to peel some of this crust back. I don't see any color like gold or anything, but it's pretty heavy. So when I get home, I'm gonna test it and see what kind of metal is under there. And last but not least, I found this stud earring. It seems to have a crystal or diamond stone in it. I have my diamond tester right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and test it and see if this is real. All right, the moment of truth. Ah, uh, It's not doing anything. A rubber. This is a rubber earring. <laughs> That's probably a cubic zirconia. I had a feeling though because the metal around it seems pretty It even looked a little rusty, so I had a feeling this would not be a diamond. Still not a terrible day. I wasn't even planning to metal detect. The whole reason we went to the spot is to see the fish, to see the wildlife. 
We heard really good things about the diving here. It's supposed to be one of the top sites in the U.S. for diving. Sorry, one of the top sites in the U.S. for shore diving. Yeah, it was really pretty and we enjoyed our day. We really did. Ooh, I almost forgot to show you guys this thing. I'm not sure what it is. It gave me a really good signal, but it just looks like a rock and it's not as heavy as a lead weight. I'm gonna try to crack this open and see what's inside. All right, we're gonna show you our home for the night. Do, Don't not, be do not, not be shocked. By our lavishness. Woo! Our luxuries. <laughs> <laughs> this is our home for the evening. This is our house. Our house is the main Lena has to go to the toilets. Even though we have toilets on board. We don't use them like that, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> wink, wink, wink. <laughs> okay, thanks. This is, this is me. This is Lena. The little one. I found the jackpot. I have to show you something. I found treasure. Even when I'm off duty, I find treasure. Whoa. But no, for real though. See this right down here? It kind of looks like a ring. Or is it? Right there. You think that's a diamond ring right there? Like someone was throwing a coin and they accidentally dropped it. Lena and I are, are going to smash this mystery treasure. I should have brought me not flip flops. Show what we got then. Oh, did you break I it? it? Oh wow, you did crack it. And there's nothing in it. Yeah. I think the whole thing is just a chunk of metal. Well guys, it's just a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Buy the merch. hands on the table because the table will fly we all rule no elbows on the table because this table tends to tip over and lena's drinks go flying i have soaked myself quite a few times that's why we made the rule before this trip no red wine no red wine because i knew it last time we went to florida and we had red wine nora made sure she bathed me and herself in it promptly the night of our arrival that's correct Head to toe. <laughs> Head to toe. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes.